Okay, hey everybody, this is EasyCraft here again, and today I'm going to be showing you guys potion brewing in Minecraft. Now, what among me and my friends, when potion brewing first came out, we didn't like the idea at all. We thought that um, it was going to kind of ruin Minecraft, and it was going to turn it into something it wasn't. Anyway, um, so potion brewing is a thing where it lets you make potions that boost um, your strength, you can get healing, uh, fire resistance, poison, weakness, swiftness, all these really cool things. And so I'm going to show you guys how to, how to make these potions, because a lot of people don't know, and I didn't even know until a couple of days ago. So yeah, this is a really helpful website, how to make Minecraft potions, Minecraft, how to make Minecraft potion, Minecraft potion recipes and ingredients. It's wordpuncher.com, blah, 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 blah. I'll put the link in the description. And, um, yeah, so this is how you do it. In order to create any Minecraft potions, you'll need a brewing stand. This is a brewing stand. To make a brewing stand, you need cobblestone and then a blaze rod. A blaze rod is the first item you might not know about. Now, a blaze rod is an item that drops from a mob called Blaze. And blazes are special mobs that only spawn in the nether, and within the nether, they only spawn in nether fortresses. This is what a blaze looks like without any, um, without any texture pack on. One of these things, this is an actual blaze rod. They're made up of blaze rods, so sometimes when they die, they drop one. And they spawn in nether fortresses. What a nether fortress is, is a giant nether brick um, temple-like looking thing. It's, I, so most people say they're really easy to find. I personally think they're pretty rare. They're big nether brick buildings, and yeah, they're pretty cool. So anyway, when you kill a blaze, they drop a blaze rod, and it looks like this. So this is how you make a brewing stand. Um, how to use the brewing stand. Uh, first, you need to make a glass bottle, and it's simple. It's just three glass and, like, a V. So... Yeah, that is, uh, here, I'll show you. Glass, vial, Minecraft. It's either a vial or a bottle. I don't really know what it's called. Glass bottle. And what it does, this is what it looks like. Like I said, three pieces of glass makes three of them. It's pretty simple. And what you do is once you've made it, you can right-click water, and it turns into a water, um, it turns into a water, uh, vial. Here, I'm going to go on Minecraft and show you guys this. Um, but so that's the first step. The first thing you need to do is make the, this uh, potion brewing stand, and then you need to get bottles of water. They're glass bottles of water. Thank you. Okay. You go away. Actually, don't go away. Come back! Okay. So it's loading. Do 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 do. Anytime now. There we go. Okay. Wow, this is lagging really bad right now. Okay. Potion brewing. And I'm just going to use too many items and show you guys exactly how to do it. So, the first step is to get your game to load. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't take 20 years like it's taking me. I don't know why it's taking so long. Okay, anyway. Finally get into the game. Let's go on tiny. Only chance. Okay. And then you get your blaze rod. Oh. Blaze rod. Those are the potions right back there. Blaze rod. One. And crafting bench. Nope. Bad. This is too many items, this this mod, by the way, if you didn't know. Um, and then some cobblestone. Okay. So, crafting bench. One, two, three. Blaze rod, which drops from the blaze mo uh, blaze mobs. Bam! You have a brewing stand. So now uh, we're gonna find some water. Yes, we are going to find some water. Oh look, we found water. <laughs> Just gonna turn this into an unlimited water source. Okay. And then what you do is you make your glass vials. Glass bot. I don't know why I call them vials, but I do. So it's your crafting table. And you go one, two, three, bam, glass. And then every time you fill them up, it uh, takes away a glass vial and it turns into a water bottle. So anyway, yeah, you put your brewing stand down. It looks like that. And there's three slots. This is for the ingredient, and then these are for water bottles. If you don't put water into them, it does nothing. Now it looks like this. 
what you do is next you need an item called Nether Wart. Within the Nether Fortress, there'll be little patches of um, little patches of what look like growing areas almost growing little things that look like this. So within the fortress below like staircases and stuff you'll see this item called soul sand. It's kind of all over the nether and on it there'll be these little things growing. This is called nether wart and it has three stages of growth. It can grow in the overworld only in the nether so it doesn't pop out or anything but it will never grow right here. Like you'll never see it grow. It has to grow in the nether. Anyway, you take the nether wart, it's just like melon seeds, nether wart, and you put the nether wart into here. So I'm going to put one in, and it takes a little bit to start, and then bam, it start, this is my texture pack, I don't know if it looks like it on any other, but anyway, it's going down, it's putting the ingredients into the potion, it's working, and it's working, and it's working, and it's working, and do 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 and bam, now you have awkward potions. This is the first step. Most useful potions start off with awkward potions. Now, for I'm going to make a potion of speed. So to make a potion of speed, you need sugar. And I'm not going to tell you how to make sugar because it's pretty simple and it's pretty sure it's just from sugar cane. I don't really remember how to make it anyway. It's the sugar. Once you have your awkward potions, leave it in there and put a piece of sugar in. And here, I'll make a, I'll make a couple signs showing you exactly how what makes what so I don't have to explain it all. Uh, okay. So, um, sugar equals speed. Magma cream, which I'll show you about in a second, equals fire, equals fire res, FR. Fire resistance, that means you take fail. Blaze powder equals strength. Stir. To make blaze powder, what you do is you take a blaze rod, boom, turn it into blaze powder. That's how you make blaze powder, and that's used to make um, strength potions. Now, magma cream, what you do is you take a slime ball, and you take a blaze powder, and you put them next to each other, bam, magma cream. Now, this, that makes it into a, um, a uh, fire resistance potion. Um, another one is gas tier. To get that, you just kill a gas and occasionally it'll drop it. What does that make? Gas tier makes um, something. It's not really coming to me. Hang on. Let's. I'll just show you this really quick. This is a speed potion. And it makes you run faster, you see. It's pretty cool. Um, I really want to remember what gas tier is. I don't remember what it makes, so we're going to test. I'm just going to spawn in another awkward potion. Uh, water bottle, awkward potion, bam. Two, three. Um, but anyway, so another effect that um, I'm going to show you is once you have a potion, so say your potion of, um, your potion of speed, like we have right here, if you put this potion of speed back in, or first let's, regeneration, so gas here makes it so you regenerate health over time. Right, that was what it was. Um, say we have your speed potion, and you put a piece of glowstone in. I don't remember which, but it, like, upgrades it. Glowstone and redstone are the two things that do that. One of them makes the power, like, better, so it affects it more, so, like, it makes you faster. And then the other one makes it longer. So, say, I don't remember which is which, but maybe glowstone makes it, um, the potion more effective. And, uh, yeah, speed times two. And then redstone makes the potion last longer. So redstone and glowstone are just, like, two things that you can put in to upgrade the potion to a higher level of use ability. But, so, yeah. Last year's make regeneration. I don't remember off the top of my head. No, I do. Wait. Glistering melon. I think this makes instant health. I'm not really sure. Let's find out. Um, uh, glistering melon, to make it, you just put a piece of melon next to, um next to a gold nugget. This is a gold nugget. They drop off zombie pigment or you can change a uh, gold uh, ingot into one. And so you put a gold nugget next to a melon it makes a glistering melon. You can't eat it. But what happens is you can put it into an awkward potion and it turns the awkward potion into a potion of healing. And instead of regeneration this is insta health. So it instantly gives you a bunch of hearts. And then again you can make the potion more potent with um, this and this. But so yeah, that's the basics of um, potion brewing. 
I'm gonna put all the actual like um, combinations of stuff. So the main potions like red uh, magma cream equals this and blah 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 blah. I'm gonna put that all in the description so you don't forget. And anyway, that's how you brew potions. And don't break a brewing stand without a pickaxe, I guess. Um, but so yeah, that's potion brewing. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. I'm happy to help. It's a very complicated thing. And again, I'll put the description for this website into the. I'll put the. Uh, I'll put the URL for this website in the description because I think it's a really helpful website that taught me most of the stuff I know. Anyway, thank you for watching. I've been Easycraft. This has been how to brew potions in Minecraft, and I'll see you next time. Bye.